Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie, and if you are new to my channel, hey, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing. And if you are back, welcome back. Today I'm here with a sneak peek unboxing from Diamond Art Club. This is one of their new releases this week. This kit, along with the other new releases, are going to be released tomorrow, which is Saturday, October 22nd at 9.30 a.m. Pacific Time or 12.30 p.m. Eastern. If you're in the Ruby or Diamond tier of the rewards program, you'll get a half an hour early access window beginning at 9 a.m. Pacific or noon Eastern. Thank you to Diamond Art Club for sending this over for me to share with uh, everyone ahead of the weekend's releases. I hope this helps you make a decision about whether or not this kit is on your shopping list for the weekend and be sure to check out all of my fabulous fellow content creators to see sneak peeks for the other new releases this week. So what I have to share with you today is the Gardener of Teratov. This is from one of my favorite artists the Diamond Art Club licenses with, Heather R. Hitchman. And I just thought she was so cute. Now, this is gonna have round shaped diamonds and it's gonna be 50.7 by 68.9 centimeters or 20, point, 20 by 27 inches. Diamond Art Club uses this pink branding that is specific to their round shaped diamond diamond painting kits. And on the back, we've got info about how to diamond paint, the kit contents, and then we have a QR code over here on this site that'll give you a 20% uh, or sorry, a 10% off discount code for your purchase. 20% off. If you would like a 20% off discount on your first purchase, if you are brand new to Diamond Art Club and thinking of making your first purchase, I have an affiliate a discount code you're welcome to use that'll save you 20 percent it's just my name katie k-a-t-i-e and the number 20. please don't feel obligated to use that though even though any commission that i make from that goes right back into the channel i don't want you to feel obligated i'm going to show you several different discount codes just in this video so all i say is don't pay a full price for diamond art club use some kind of discount code to save yourself a little bit of money when you're making a purchase so we have all our kit contents here and here's our toolkit. This is one of the newer versions of their toolkits that they have been working on phasing in. And there's not a hard and fast way to know if you're gonna get this newer version of the toolkit or the older one with your order, but either way, it is gonna have everything you need to do your diamond painting. Uh, this is gonna come with a pen and squishy. The color may vary. I have not gotten this beautiful burgundy color before. Uh, you're also gonna get some wax in this pink heart caddy. Make sure you take off that thin plastic film before you try to load up your pen. You're also going to get uh, some multi-placers if you wanna try your hand at placing more than one diamond at a time. But we've also got a tray with a stopper here that you can just pop into the end. You're also gonna get some baggies that you can put your diamonds into before or after or during your painting. And then these are the two kind of wild cards. These are uh, just gonna come in these newer toolkits and the print and style may vary. This is a cover minder. There's magnets on the back. If you slip that bottom magnet off, slide it under the area of the canvas you're working on, peel back the plastic cover, Set that on top. That is gonna hold back the plastic cover for you. The style will vary quite a bit. <laughs> That's a really cute one though. And then this is a roll of washi tape. I like to use washi tape on the borders of my canvas because it can cover up any glue that goes past the edge of the drill field, prevents dirt or dust from getting stuck in there. I also like to use washi tape to section off my canvases while I'm working into smaller sections. If you'd like to see a video with more of a demo on how I use washi tape with my canvases, I do have a whole video dedicated to that as well as a general like diamond painting for beginners video. I'll link to the, both of those below if you'd like to take a look. Also included is this smaller sticker. I like to use this in my paper logbook since it has the original artwork and all the info about this. Uh, you can also put it on the side of your box or do whatever you'd like with it. Everything else is gonna be included in here. Let's take a look. Appreciate the extra level of protection with a plastic bag because sometimes you don't know necessarily what the weather is gonna do. Uh, but let's, let's get into it. Super soft canvas backing as always. All right. Oh my gosh, she's cute. Oh, so fun. I love it. I love the colors too. So we have our bag of diamonds. We'll look at those in just a bit. Uh, we have a pamphlet here with a thank you note from the founder on the front. And then what's included in your kit. 
Um, this will take you to a step-by-step -step beginner video. And then definitely want to point this out. This will take you to the VIP Facebook group. Once you've made your first purchase from Diamond Art Club, definitely join the VIP Facebook group. It's a wonderful community and a really good resource. And Diamond Art Club is often sharing behind the scenes info there. Step-by-step uh, -step instructions written out for you, as well as some tips and tricks. We've got yet another discount code. And then uh, be sure to download the mobile app. You'll get 20% off your first purchase through the app. And um, it's you can get like push notifications and stuff for like restocks if you want as well. Also included is this larger sticker sheet. There's the title again, The Gardener of Teratov by Heather R. Hitchman, a spot to write your start and end date. Here's that really dreamy <laughs> original artwork. Isn't she so cute? And then we've got round shaped diamonds, the size again. And then over here, we have a set of pre-cut labels, stickers. Um, there's gonna be 62 colors in total in this kit. The color code you see here, this is the same as the DMC color code, which is used in most diamond paintings to identify their different diamond colors. It's also used in cr uh, cross stitch. A kind of, it's a kind of floss specifically. In Diamond Art Club's numbering system though, anything under the number 150 is gonna be a special kind of diamond called an AB. It looks like we're gonna have four of those in this kit. I'll tell you all about those when we're actually looking at the diamonds in just a bit. These are really convenient because they are pre-cut for you. So if you like to take your diamonds and when you cut open these packets and either put them into storage containers or into baggies, um, that's what we call that kitting up. Um, I like to take these stickers and then just slap them on the container or the baggie. And that makes it really, really easy and it makes it go fast because these are pre-cut for you. Anyway, let me take you on a little tour of this canvas. If you are noticing that your canvas is wanting to stay kind of folded back like that, um, Diamond Art Club's canvases do have a self-flattening feature. It will lay flat over time. If you're impatient like me though, you can just flip it the opposite direction and roll it. I needed to brush off my table a little bit better before I started. That's me, that's not Diamond Art Club. <laughs> uh, but by rolling it backwards, there we go. You're laying totally flat. Now, um, since Diamond Art Club uses poured glue on their canvases, rolling it backwards like that is safe to do if you're working with a canvas from another company that is not poured glue. Don't roll it backwards, you will really ruin your glue that way. Anyway, <laughs> here we've got their branding. Do what makes you sparkle, Diamond Art Club. The edges of the canvas, you can see their scallops and their finish. You're not gonna have to worry about fraying. That's just like literally a leftover like cut piece. Um, I'm literally pulling on it, nothing is happening. That's just, that's just where it was cut. I've never had fraying on any of the Diamond Art Club canvases I've worked on. Speaking of canvases, the backing is really, really, really plush and soft. It's a wonderful material to work with um, because it's very sturdy and very malleable. And so it's just, it's very forgiving. It lays flat beautifully with with diamonds on it and without diamonds on it. Uh, as I mentioned, they use poured glue, which you can usually tell if a company uses a clear plastic cover like this. And a Diamond Art Club's poured glue often has a little bit of a sparkle to it. Uh, it's a nice, thick, plush poured glue that's very forgiving. So if you need to like adjust a diamond once it's down, you can, but also holds diamonds really, really well. I don't almost ever have to worry about or see diamonds falling off once I've placed them on my Diamond Art Club canvases. But between the poured glue quality and the canvas quality, it makes diamond painting on these kits really enjoyable and relaxing, honestly. Uh, up here at the top left, we have a legend. Uh, we have the same legend over here at the bottom right. At the bottom left, we've got a thumbnail of the original artwork, as well as the title, the size again, 20 by 27 inches or 50.7 by 68.9 centimeters. And then copyright, copyright Heather R. Hitchman, Diamond Art Club. What this means is that Heather R. Hitchman has both given permission for the use of her artwork and is being fairly compensated for the use of her artwork by Diamond Art Club as well. Art theft is unfortunately very common in the crafting community. And so I am all about supporting companies that are doing right by artists by getting their permission and compensating them for the use of their artwork. Here we have info about Diamond Art Club's socials. Be sure to follow them there so you can stay up to date with new releases and other announcements. And then of course, another discount code. I'm telling you, they're everywhere. <laughs> Here's info about the lifetime warranty that comes with your kit. As long as you're the original owner and purchaser of your kit, you are covered under that lifetime warranty. 
Let's do a quick measurement. Uh, that warranty covers anything from if you run out of diamonds to if you have trouble with something on your canvas. If there are any problems at all, just contact their customer service, their support, and uh, they'll get you taken care of. Uh, so we're at uh, a tick shy of 69 centimeters, which is what it is listed as. 68.9 centimeters is the listed dimensions. And then we're at almost, a, um, let's see, that's like 50 and a half centimeters. Yeah, and it's listed as 50.7. So it is true to size, which is not shocking. Diamond Art Clips canvases usually are. Let's take a look at the drill field. <clears throat> so the printing is really clear. That's pretty consistent across the board with Diamond Art Clips canvases. There's her cute face. <laughs> Sometimes faces will look a little bit off or a little bit scary, like when you're up close and just looking at the drill field like this. When there's actually diamonds down, I find that it just looks a bit different, especially round diamonds. That's gonna come together and look um, really, really nice, I think. We have some bubbles and scales. <laughs> there's a good amount of what we uh, in the diamond painting community call confetti in this kit. Confetti is when you have areas with lots of color changes in a small area. So like in here, you'll be changing out the color in your tray a little bit more often and probably single placing your way through it. Uh, those tend to take a little bit more time to do, sections with confetti do, but you tend to get more detail when you have confetti. We do have, though, some color blocking. Color blocking is when you have sections of the same symbol in an area. So like in here, we have all of this symbol or even down you know, in these corners and stuff. So in those areas, that color is gonna be in your tray for a little bit longer. You can use a multi-placer if you like to use a multi-placer. Generally, those will go just a little bit faster. The printing looks really clear. I like to have a mix, by the way, of color blocking and confetti because Confetti keeps it interesting, but color blocking keeps it moving. <laughs> so I like what I'm seeing with this. I like this pretty rose over here. Oh, so, 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 so pretty. Let's look at the diamonds. Uh, there is a label with the title here on the front. So if you store the diamonds separate from the canvas, it'll be easy to match them up again later. Here's that pretty color spread. Lots of purples and blues and pinks. A little bit of red too. Let's take a look. So uh, we have a DMC code printed on the bag. These are round diamonds, like I mentioned. Now around a year ago, Diamond Art Club began manufacturing all their diamonds in house. They have better quality control now. Uh, their diamonds are all resin and their, their newer round diamonds, I feel like are really super faceted. And so they sparkle a ton, especially the dark drills. It's easiest to see that sparkle, um, but I do like their new diamonds. We have lots of pinks and purples and blues. The, the newer diamonds are just that much more consistent in size and quality. And they do, Diamond Art Club does give you extra of every color so that the idea is that you don't run out or if you, you know, if there are any drills that aren't really usable, like if they have holes in the top or something like that, which happens with resin sometimes, that's normal. You should have enough left over, but if you do find yourself running out, contact their customer service, their support again, and they'll send you more. They'll get you taken care of. <laughs> Here is our first AB diamond, 126. Now AB stands for Aurora Borealis. Just like the Northern Lights have a really pretty color shift effect, that's what's happening with the iridescent coating on the tops of these diamonds. So you can see how they have that extra bit of sparkle. They do sparkle even more than regular diamonds do. The areas that they'll have been placed are gonna look more highlighted and draw your eye to them a bit. Usually Diamond Art Club does a really nice job of placing these, but this is the first of the ABs that I've seen in this kit. And I will point out to you where each of these AB colors is gonna go once we're done looking at all the diamonds. Some more pinks and purples. And yeah, there's a lot of colors in a kit this size, 62 colors. So we have a whole bunch of these like smaller bags of colors. Uh, 141, that's our second AB. It's a white AB. So pretty. And some more pinks, beiges, purples. There's a little bit of uh, travelers I'm seeing in some of these <laughs> where they're hopping from bag to bag. Ooh, here's our third AB, 111. That's like a brilliant magenta. Super bold and pretty. And then some more grays and pinks and purples. 
And then this is our fourth AB. I think, yeah, we just have four. So 129, it's a pale yellow. It's a more subtle AB, I feel like. And then we have some greens here for that rose, I'm sure. <laughs> and then one more little straggler set of diamonds here. So a big bag of this purple and then some smaller bags. All right. So there's all 62 of our colors. Again, that's a lot for a diamond uh, painting this size, I feel like, but I think that that's gonna give it a nice amount of detail. I'm not mad. <laughs> Let's find where those ABs are gonna go though. We'll start here at the bottom. Um, right off the bat, I see, if you see these kind of bright pinks, almost hot pink looking, little bunches of three or four diamonds at a time in her scales, that is gonna be that really bold magenta pink AB in her scales. So it's gonna give her scales like that metallic sparkly effect, I think. And then we have a bit of that pale lavender kind of dotted throughout her tail. It's not in bunches as much as that magenta is, but there's more of a sprinkling of it throughout her t all throughout her tail. Here on the sides of her fins, the white you're seeing is a white AB. These bubbles are all outlined in the pale purple AB, and there's some more pale purple here and here. Some pale purple on the undersides of these bubbles, so it's gonna give those bubbles kind of a shiny effect, just like bubbles tend to have. Some of the white AB and a couple of the light purple here in this bubble. Uh, a couple pairs, uh, three pairs of that white AB here on this particular fin. And then we have some more pale purple ABs highlighting um, at the end of her tail. That's really pretty, kind of the different uh, feathered fins here. We have some of that light purple AB that's gonna be so, 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 so pretty. Her belly, down to her belly button, <laughs> there's a few pairs of that white AB. Um, we have the white AB sprinkled throughout the scales on her arms, the white you're seeing is there and there. And then here, coming down the middle of her chest and on the side of her, between her chest and arm right here. And then is this a necklace or bubbles? There's white ABs all through there. And then these little bubbles or magical sparks here have some white ABs sprinkled as well as these little bubbles over here on the side. Where's the original artwork? I wanna take a look and see. Okay, yeah. So um, there's these, I don't know if these are pearls in her hair that kind of match like her necklace as well. But there's a B, uh, just like one white AB in each of those little like pearls in her hair. Super cute. And then the scales on her arms, I see, let's see, uh, some of that magenta AB in some of these scales again, just a little, uh, okay, just a little bit, just a little bit, not everywhere. And then, I was gonna say, I've yet to see the pale yellow AB, but that's because the pale yellow AB is making this rose glow. That's gonna be really, really gorgeous. I love, love, love that. So the whole outside of this rose is pale yellow ABs. Love, love, love it. That's gonna be really, really, really pretty. There's a little bit of the white AB on the side of the uh, the top of the jar here, and this white bub this bubble has white ABs. Both these bubbles have white ABs around them. Pale purple ABs on this bubble and over on this bubble. And did I miss any? It is highly possible, but I don't think so. <laughs> um, that looks so pretty. It's about where I would have expected to see those ABs. So like um, giving a glint to the edges of her scales, the glow around the flower, absolutely. Uh, the edges of the bubbles to give them that like shimmery, catching the light effect. Love the AB placement that I am seeing. Diamond Art Club, it looks like your rendering team has nailed it again. Um, you guys, this looks so, so cute. I love Heather R. Hitchman's artwork. I think that it translates really, really, really nicely to diamond painting form. And I think that this is gonna be no exception. <laughs> so this I think is a pretty beginner friendly kit. Um, it does have a lot of color to it, but I think the size is really accessible. I think the artwork is, 
is really accessible as well. And I think that the finished product is gonna be really rewarding too. I like that it has a mix of color blocking and confetti. I adore the colors and the AB placement that I am seeing. And from what I can tell of the rendering, just looking at the canvas printing, I think that this is going to be a really, really gorgeous kit once it's complete. I mean, it's gorgeous already and it's not complete. So <laughs> let me give you a really quick recap. The name of this piece is The Gardener of Teratoff, which I was poking around Heather R. Hitchman, the artist's website and her Instagram a bit, and saw that she does have like a series of her artwork that takes place in this um, in Teratoff. And so it's kind of this like theme that she has running through a lot of her artwork, um, which is really neat. I'm hoping we'll get to see even more from her at Diamond Art Club uh, that maybe continues to fit that theme. And she has some really, really cute artwork too. Her artwork just seems to span a really wide spectrum that uh, is very much my taste. It's a lot of like the fantasy and whimsical artwork. Um, and this totally fits the bill too. But anyway, the title of this one, like I said, is The Gardener of Teratoff. And it's 20 by 27 inches or 50.7 by 68.9 centimeters. Again, the artist is Heather R. Hitchman. It has 62 colors with round drills and has a total of four ABs in it. So anyway, you guys, uh, this kit along with the other new releases are going to be released tomorrow, which is Saturday, October 22nd at 9.30 a.m. Pacific time, 12.30 p.m. Eastern, and that's the general release time. And if you're in that diamond or ruby tier of the rewards program, we've got the half an hour early access window. Now, one thing I really quickly want to know is that we don't know ahead of time which kits are going to be limited edition. If a kit is noted as limited edition, if it's marked as limited edition, what that means is that once it sells out, it will not be restocked. So uh, we, like I said, we don't know ahead of time, but if this kit or any of the other new releases are on your wish list, if they're on your maybe list, <laughs> either way, check in at release time and any kits that are limited edition, I recommend jumping on because they have a way of selling out quickly. Um, and even if it's not limited edition, if it sells out, sometimes it may be a while before it is restocked. So either way, set those alarms for tomorrow morning. Best of luck to you if you are shopping. Thank you for watching and thank you to Diamond Art Club for sending this over and to Heather R. Hitchman for licensing this artwork to Diamond Art Club so that we all can enjoy it. All right, my friends, I hope you have an amazing weekend. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed to wanna see lots of diamond painting content from me and like this video on your way out as well. Have a great weekend, my friends. I'll chat with you in the next one. Bye.